Hello, you're watching The Markable. I'm Rebecca Marsh. And today I'm speaking with Neil Marston, the CEO and Managing Director at Flynn Gold. Neil, thank you so much for your time today. It's great to be with you today, Rebecca. So you've just announced new drill results at your fire tower project in Tasmania. Can you provide any further detail about these and your other projects in Tasmania? Yes, look, the fire tower project was one of two projects we acquired from Great Land Gold last year. So this is our first drilling program at fire tower. It's a project which has been known of well, several decades now, predominantly gold exploration in the past, but it's also got cobalt and tungsten in there as well. So we've put in four holes into the area and one of the holes which we announced results about on Monday was 17 metres, running at about 2.3 grams per tonne gold, plus 1.6% cobalt, and a really good 0.38% of tungsten trioxide. So it's a really good result for us. The drill hole is down a dip from previous drilling, and that was really what we were targeting to see if this mineralisation continues at depth. And this first hole is demonstrating that, so it's a really good outcome for us. So tell us about your follow-up exploration plans for your projects in Tasmania for this year. Fire Tower is one of three projects that we're really advancing on. The other two are our Golden Ridge, which is our flagship project, and also at Warrantina. So our focus in 2024 will be to go back and undertake drilling at all three of those projects, advancing them on resource modelling and all of those things as well. So you know, very busy 12 months in Tasmania exploring for gold. So last year, Flynn Gold made announcements in regards to lithium projects in Western Australia. Can you just provide us an update on how these projects are going? The Parker Dome project is one we secured an option on in December and we announced that to the market. We've had a team out there doing some soil sampling programs before Christmas. The samples are going through the labs at the moment. So we should have results on soil sampling for that coming through in February. And that project really was what appealed to us about that was there was a lot of drilling historically for gold there, which had intersected pegmatites, never been tested for lithium. And so this is a, you know, it's a really a walk up project for us to go and put some holes into these pegmatites and see if there's some lithium in, in there. Obviously the markets come off a bit with lithium at the moment. So, you know, we're fortunate. We've always been focused on the gold, but we'll keep advancing these projects and see if we can turn up some resources in an area, which is, you know, we're close to Mount Holland and the Lake Johnson area as well. So it's an elephant country to be looking for lithium deposits. Neil Marston of Flynn Gold, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome, Rebecca.